So Emily Seabom, it was much publicised that you collapsed after the 100 metres back. Can you just tell us how you're feeling now? Are you all better? Yeah, you know, I'm feeling quite good now. Just a bit fatigued and a bit tired and a bit of a different feeling, but feeling better and, and hopefully not going to go down anytime soon. I got a few blood tests to do today, so hopefully they come back fine. So going back into your swimming career, has anything like this ever happened before or is this an isolated incident? Uh, I think Brownie said there was one incident at 2008 trials after a 200 backstroke that I fell down, but I can't remember it. But, you know, this has been a different trials for me and, and not as many as events. So we'll see how it goes and see how that goes leading into Shanghai. So going into the Com Games in Delhi, you were touted as the female version of Michael Phelps due to the diversity of races that you swum. Could this potentially be a, um, a positive for you, in fact, that you get to now concentrate solely on the 100 back? It could be, it could go either way. Uh, I'm not sure which way it's going to go, but hopefully it goes good. I know in 2008 I only had the 100 back stroke and it didn't go very good, but, you know, uh, hopefully I get a few relay shots. You know, there's the last chance relay thing um, in July at short course, so hopefully I can post a couple of good times and get in some relays. Now, speaking of the backstroke stocks in Australia, they seem to be quite strong. Belinda Hocking, 59.55. Does that motivate you to want to get back in the water and better that time, or are you still about racing yourself in your own times? You know, um, I want to get back that number one Australian spot and, and show everyone that I'm still here and I'm still training good, and, and I want to get back out there and, and train hard so I can have a good prep leading into Shanghai. Now, everyone knows that Emily Seabom's quite fierce in the pool. Obviously, your first national title when you were 14. What do you do away from the pool to relax? Um, I'm a bit of a movie freak and started collecting my own movies. And, and I'm into comedies, but there's a few thrillers and horrors in there as well. So not looking too past swimming, but what would you like to do when your swimming co career is um, run and won? I haven't thought too much about that, but there's a couple of things that I want to try, like interior decoration and um, a fashion stylist, so there's a few different things that I want to try. Oh, really? And who are you wearing today? <laughs> Uncle Toby's in arena today. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Emily. Thank you.